guys, welcome back. So here's the Project Tan Pan. Um, so it's clean by the way. Um, yes, I did my roots. Um, so they're yellow. Um, when I do my roots, it they're a canary. Um, it's not because I throw powder on my hair. They're yellow. I know I had someone like, you geez, you blend down your neck and you also got it over your freaking hair. No, it's the roots. So yeah, um, and sometimes they get really brassy. So, yeah, this girl needs to do some roots. <laughs> um, I'm not going to bleach them. I might just tone them like that. I have my in, um, uh, hair mask that's purple tone, and I might do that probably Wednesday. So, I don't know. So, it's going to be fun. So, let's get into empties. So, so off the LA Soul, um, like, love this guy. He's like $25 on Amazon. I got him off my Kind of Beauty, um, uh, Kind of Beauty, um, subscription box. That box is kind of like they're not they're not doing that anymore. Um, and then they kind of like renamed it. I I do really like it. Um, I some stuff I like, some stuff I not. The whole um, um box I do quarterly. I didn't really like it, but the monthly some things I do. Sometimes I was kind of like, but yeah, it's like it's a it was a cruelty free box, which is kind of cool. So this is what this guy came with. He can I believe you can get him off Amazon. Very nice. He's twenty five dollars, um, and it doesn't leave a white cast. The only problem is that this guy right here has only SPF thirty, um, so I do have a dupe to his very similar to that. Okay, so now let's get into let's talk about my Sephora powder. Okay, so he better stay. So here's what he looks like. He needs to get um, repressed again because I guess he's one of the an asshole. Um, so yeah, this that guy. He's a, he's really freaking evil. Um, the blush, not bronze one, so that's what he looks like. Um, so I, whoops, you stay like so. So that's what he is. It's watch of him. Do like it. I have all across my forehead, everything like that, and blend here. Um, again, like I said, my skin's warm. I do have the powder on, which we're just talking about this guy right here. There's a Dose Color um, Foundation. I've only used it a handful of times because I'm trying to use that by lock. I had some nice progress on my Lorac one, so yay, so this one is not going to have too much progress. And the funny part is, three foundations are too light on me that I have. One is for um, filming, which I might just mix. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. I have, so I um, cannot wait until that um, my Lorac gets used up, so I might roll in one of these guys into my other parts pan and roll in a new one into that. So I don't know. So who knows? This is this guy. Um, he's very light, <laughs> um, so he doesn't match me at, at all. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video of, because uh, I know I get a lot of, sh like that one video is kind of like shits and giggles about how people say I do my makeup. I'm thinking about doing a video of how people say you make up for other different purposes, like makeup has no rules. Let me know if you want that. So there's this guy. Then I set it with this guy, so he's not in this one. He's in my, because... This guy right here, this cutie little right here, was probably playing with a hockey puck with my powder and I can't find it. So I have to use this guy, which he's a pink tone. So this guy is from Believe. Um, so this little thing I have to lose. Um, if, I'm not sure how the, the problem I hate about loose powders and tinted ones is they won't pink. Um, I'm like, dude, really? Um, everybody does not have a pink undertone. Um, but that's how it goes. The Maybelline, they're pink. Um, so yeah, that's the one thing I can't stand when they do loose patterns. They're freaking pink. Um, so, so there's that guy. So blame this guy for losing my powder. I know, I knew it was this guy. Like right here, he's a cute little troublemaker, aren't you, Lucy? It's like, I didn't do anything. Um, which I really did like that, um, Frank and loose powder idea that I had after like a few bronzers. Um, like two pale bronzers that were like really warm to it looked. So here's this um, Patrick Ta blush. Um, not blush. Okay, yes. He's from um, the Patrick Ta blush, just, um, Major Dimensions um, blush palette with the creams and the blushes that it had. The creams, of course, are all scooped into with the Tanisha Nona, anything like that, into a compact that I'm using in my Partners in Cream. So here's the powders. So this is what I have on here. And I use them as a blush topper. Which someone wants to not show his face anymore on here, on my hand. I thought I had a moss swatch. So that's what he looks like. 
So I really like using that. And then my Le Queen Bronzer, so this is what it looks like. I might swatch him. What the hell? Not there. I guess we can do there. <laughs> so that's a Queen one. So that's what he looks like. He's going to be in here for a while, so yeah. He's going to be in here for a long while. Then this guy um, is a Glam Light Cookies and Milk. He's a loose highlight and he doesn't... I did use him and he's making slow progress. That's why I have him... Wait, I don't have this on. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have it with my Tatasha and I know. Don't know um, palette. So that's that. So here's a swatch of that guy for you. So you can see what he looks like. He's very glittery. Like very glittery. So that's what he look, kind of looks like when he's all like heavy swatch. Very pretty. I do really like it, but he's very glittery. I'm like, so uh, they have this on this site. Um, remember, he's a glitter bomb. Okay, so this guy, of course, everyone says no know about him. I did use him a couple times. The problem about this guy is just like I'm not into a periwinkle freaking blue. Um, so he's gonna be like a buffer out shade when I I have an extra I have to use him more to see how I like him. Again, like I said, I'm not into a periwinkle freaking blue. Um, but yeah, so this guy he's a Mary Kate eyeshadow. He he might have like a teeny weeny dip, but just a teeny dip. But yeah. I know his um, little brother that I eat, I pan. There's three of them on these that I took from my mom. Um, this guy, a more purple one, and then um, the more taupey one that I did pan, and it worked beautifully to set my nose, set my nose, contour my nose, and set my eyebrows. That's how I use up his little brother. So, yeah, I still have a sister. So, yeah. If, so, there's that guy. And this guy is ancient old. He's about, he's up there in age. <laughs> he's, I'm 35 and he's probably at least 20 years, I, older than 20, 25 years old. I was asking my mom how old my poor man Cage and she's like, they were old enough that I don't even remember. I'm like, okay, they're old. So yeah, there's those. Of course, they're not college old, but you know, they're old pretty old. I don't know if they're like in the 90s, but I don't think they're that old, but early 2000s. They're probably that old. They don't have a smell. They blend fully and then they still have the pigmentation. So I was like, screw it. I, I told her I was going to take them home and hopefully I can use them up. Because she's not using, she doesn't really wear too much makeup. Maybe a mascara, eyeliner type of thing. She doesn't wear her eyeshadow. Like she had some eyeshadows, but she, I do take, took a few of them. And then some of them, I'm like, Mom, you gotta... She's like, they're okay. I'm like, Mom, you can smell it from, like, five block, five blocks from here. I'm like, toss. <laughs> I'm like, toss. But, yeah. So, let's talk about the Pat McGrath. This guy is... He's about 25-ish, I think, um, price tag-wise. Um, I believe I did get him on sale, so he's a little bit was a little bit cheaper than that. Pat McGrath, I only would recommend it if you buy them on sale. Or if you can find my TJ Maxx. Definitely grab... That's when I would suggest you get Pat McGrath. Um, they are not worth it at all. Full price, the big one for me, um, faded as hell. I need to do a makeup if I change my mind about it or not. <laughs> um, so I have to use, I want to use that, like, the Pat McGrath um, faded on my um, one eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. And it also faded from my um, one from... Makeup Revolution, which those two don't fade. Um, so I'm like, if they fade with those two, and you know the formula is not that great. Um, so I want to see if it works on my Ultra Primer. So after that, I'm almost done with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, so I want to work on my Ultra one. If it still fades, yeah. So yeah, they the shimmers on there just fade. Um, the mattes, okay. These don't do that uh, at all. Um, these and um, her six pants don't fade on me. So, yeah. I'm like, I guess Pamagraph is trying to be like Tosh Nona and do the cheap route, but usually for her, her cheap route is not the best. And the shadows are nice on these. That's what they look like. Of course, everybody will love this if you're a new Um, a brown lover's dream. Uh, me? No. <laughs> I like a little bit of color. Like, this for me is neutral. Um, but yeah. This guy comes really handy when I go to my parents um, because my dad doesn't like color 
Um, he doesn't like it when I wear, like, for this, he'd be like, Sarah, you're wearing too much makeup. I'd be like, okay, Dad, let me wear a blonde eye look. I'm like, how do I look? Fine. Okay. So he just doesn't like color. He doesn't like um, me wearing, he doesn't like blush or any of the color eyeshadows, as long as I don't wear that. He doesn't say jack shit. Um, but if I do wear, like, say, a blue eye look or pink eye or whatever, he'd be like, it's too, um, colorful. It's his word of saying it's too colorful. Yeah, gotta love my father. So there's that guy. So he comes really handy when I have to go to my dad's, go to my parents' house. Okay, so now let's talk about these two. So these guys, I decided to, I had to like, in this compact style, so I decided to put him in, and to like a little Franken him a little bit, the dubious place, and I stuck him in the two dubious place ones I had made Japan on, and then of course what I was working on before, and so here's this guy. This guy right here, um, this is what I had to swatch. He's very, so here's what he looks like. This is how I, the same way I use this guy. Um, I kind of just blendy blend, anything like that. Most likely, um, I'm probably not <laughs> gonna put these together, I don't know. Um, but who knows. Um, so there's that guy. It's very pretty how it came out with. I don't have all my skin today. So what I do is I talk, I do the same thing I do with this guy. I kind of interchange them or um, I use my Luminoso from Milani, which for me that is borderline highlight on me. Um, I can use it as a highlight, but, um, it is a little bit too deep for a highlight. Um, and it's also, what you call a little bit, it's, like, I like, too subtle for me. So there's that guy. Then this one is kind of like, I use, I go with this guy, um, first. So this guy, I decided it's NYX, Kat Von D, and where the hell that guy was. Um, but yeah, he's a little bit, a little frank and duty. So that's what he looks like. So yeah, um, I did, of course, had a bronzer empty. I hate having, my problem is that when I pan, I don't like having big ass holes because then it gets crumbly and it's a pain in the ass. So I'm like, either you rep then you repress it and it just kind of like, it's a, it's a pain in the ass. So I like to frank it and, um, do it that way. So it's kind of like, then I use it up that way. That's how I do, um, how I pan because when I get like a big, um, like a big giant pan, um, and it has like a, like basically like this much of wing around it, it starts, and I start to use my brush, it starts to crumble, and then if I try to repress it, it's kind of a pain ass. So that's why I always like to franken. So he had a big jeans and a hole on it. I was using it to set my teaser, not to set my teaser on, to do, um, Contour my nose and set my brows. Then um, I moved into this guy, so now I'm doing my NARS. I did pan my NARS with Gluna last time. Now I'm panning my new my NARS, what kind of like wash and dry, the Jolay formula um, bronzers and Casino, in which Casino is about the same as the first Laguna. So yeah, there's that guy. Then my sunscreen. So we are at this is the new sunscreen. So this guy is very similar to. This guy, this guy might be a hair bit um, thicker than this guy. This one's very lightweight, very beautiful sunscreen. I love, love, love. Again, he doesn't have SPF. He's SPF 50 and he's SPF 30. If he had a little bit more SPF in it, um, I think they do, but I'm not sure. But it's very, um, very I love using this guy. But, um, yeah. So this guy I have until... Um, 9 to 2024 to use him up so hopefully I can get him done before then I need to remember not to buy freaking sunscreens um because I'm trying to and then of course Ohana gave me a lot of samples and everything like the um minis everything like that to use up too so I got a lot of sunscreens to use up so we're gonna have sunscreens in this part of Japan just to make sure my ass uses them I do use them um Every single day, unless I don't go anywhere. If I don't go anywhere, I don't use it. Um, but yes, I should still use it if I, cause if I want to talk to my neighbor, um, my landlord, or my um, my neighbor next door, which is Leo's parents. Um, but yeah. So hope you guys like this. Comment, subscribe. Um, we know how Lucius is extremely stinking cute. He's six months old, and he's a little brat. Um, his brother and sister Ronnie's 
Pretty Cat and Callie's riding somewhere. Callie caught a chipmunk and this little douche right here was in a dinosaur onesie and he was chasing a chipmunk. Everybody's like, why didn't you film it? I'm like, I didn't think about it. Well, yeah, sure. Um, grab a camera when a cat's chasing a freaking onesie and a, having a chipmunk going around the house. Yeah, um, good time to film, right? Try and get the chipmunk out of the house, uh, the apartment. Um, yeah, so yeah, I was like, uh, do you want the chipmunk in the house or you want me to post on video how goofy this dull cat looks in a freaking onesie, dinosaur onesie chasing a chipmunk. So yeah, anyways, um, so you can see how cute he looks like on my Instagram and his little dinosaur onesie. It's his punishment when he's being bad because he doesn't like his stuff on his feet. Same with Tyler. Tyler didn't mind his onesies. Um, he just didn't like anything on his head or on his... He doesn't like... This guy, he's the same way. He doesn't like me getting it on his back paws. Tyler was... Um, didn't like me put like socks on and hats on. But anyways, talk to you guys later. Um, of course, be nice on the internet because you don't know who's watching anything like that. And I see you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.